Grow your beard, grow it long Never cut your beard because of Babylon Where the people want you to cut and trim your beard So you fit into the society that's weird Hello everybody, it's another beautiful day here in sunny South Florida where I'm from and I wanted to just make another video because I went and I did it. I trimmed my beard, but I didn't trim it like trim it. Uh, I just shaped it, or not even shaped it, I just cut the bottom where it would be even. It started to look a little, a little uneven and uh, I didn't want to do anything radical to it. I still want the long beard, I still want the natural look. Uh, but I, I trimmed the mustache and I also trimmed the bottom of the beard just to make it look even and a little bit neater. I even went with the scissors like this. I didn't cut anything. I just, I guess, I don't know. I saw people on the internet trimming like that. Uh, so I didn't cut anything here. I didn't cut anything here. I just trimmed this and I trimmed the bottom. And I, I'm happy with the result. And having a beard is a continuous uh experiment uh, to learn how to how to keep the beard the way you want to keep it uh, over the years I've uh, I've trimmed it many different ways different styles uh, right now I'm comfortable where I'm at and that's the most important thing if you're gonna have a beard is that you're comfortable with your at you're not doing it for somebody else you're not doing it uh, for any other reason that this is the look that you want and this is the look you feel comfortable with so those are two important reasons Number one is, it's the look you want. And number two is, you need to feel comfortable with it. And when I say feel comfortable with it, I mean you feel good about it. I don't want you to feel uncomfortable because somebody else doesn't like it. No, if you like it, it doesn't matter what other people like. You might want their opinion. You might ask them to defer their opinion. Or well, what do you think about it? But if you ask them their opinion, you're only going to cause yourself some trouble because... If they say they like it, great, but if they say they don't like it, what is that going to do? Is that going to change your perception or something? So I've learned not to ask other people's opinions, really. So what I did is I trimmed this up. I made it look nice, and I didn't ask anyone about it. Some people commented on it. It looks great. The same old people that hate beards still says the beard looks terrible no matter what I do to it. But it's my beard. I like the look, and I feel comfortable with it, so it's going to stay. And uh, I'm starting to see a lot of beards out there. More and more people are are growing beards these days. Uh, young men are have beards and uh, it's looking really nice. Uh, and I, I'm sad to say, I saw a, a, on the news or on YouTube or something, a homeless man before and after. And before he had a really big dirty beard. But now it's even worse because he's clean shaven. Why couldn't they just clean and shave the beard? They didn't have to destroy it. So I think he actually looks worse now than he did before. So just clean and, 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 and shave your beard or trim the edges or whatever if you want, a neater look. Uh, I didn't mind my scruffy look as much, but as it started to get uneven, I just wanted to have a little bit, I don't know, make it even for the bottom of videos and things like that. But I feel so good about it. I feel so good about it. And the mustache here, I trimmed up here. Uh, just, uh, I don't want to have to use straws every time I drink something. So again, I, I, I feel more comfortable like this at this point in my life. I'm liking my haircut, the way it's going with the beard now. I think it's a good mix. I, I didn't want to fully trim my mustache because I don't really like a, a trim mustache and a big beard. But this, I'm, I'm I'll settled with, I'm happy with. Uh, there's so many different things you can do at the ends, how much you can cut. If you want to trim here or not, I choose not to. I don't like the way it looks. If it's just straight and even and perfect here, it just doesn't look natural to me. Some men prefer that, uh, and, and most women prefer that, but regardless, again, it's your face, it's your life, it's your beard, and if people want to give their opinions, that's one thing, but don't ask them for their opinions, and, and enjoy it, enjoy it. So, uh, as more beards are getting accepted in society today, more people, believe it or not, are accepting me in society today, instead of, uh, uh, people on the internet will always tell me, something negative about my beard but on the streets now people are always coming up to me I like when I see men with you know, smaller beards coming up to me give me a compliment telling me that that's their desire to get there and hopefully one day they will I send it to my beard channel here I love your beard on YouTube uh, so they get to see that and check that out and see all the other great videos I have and I'm gonna start interviewing some of these uh, people that are getting a whole new idea of, of, of having a beard and, and, 
and getting away with the idea, the crazy perception and idea that, that we need to put a, a razor next to our face and actually move it, that doesn't sound safe. And it's not safe. Your beard is part of you. And don't let anyone tell you different. So I'm so glad that uh, it's catching on. And now it's summertime here, or summer's coming here in sunny South Florida. And some people might say, well, it's too hot in the summer. Le really, of all the excuses I ever hear about the beard, uh, it's too hot in the summertime to have a beard, or it must be hot in the summer, or I can't grow a beard in the warm weather. That is the worst. That's the worst excuse. I am telling you, as somebody who has a beard, it is keeps you warm in the winter, and it is shade in the summer. For example, if you had a bald head, and you go out in the sun, you're going to get sunburned. If you wear a hat, you're not going to get sunburned. It's shade for your head. Same thing with a beard. I actually uh, believe it's cooler to have a beard. Not only cooler, like, hey, that guy's cool, but cooler in terms of it's like air conditioning for your beard. It's like being under a tree instead of being the sun beating down on your bare skin. It, 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 it's, it's better uh, from every sense of the way. So if anyone says, oh, it's too hot to have a beard, they just never had a beard in the summertime at least. Uh, so, yeah, it's, I, I just put your comments below of your experiences with these things I'm talking about. And, and I just want to give you an update what I'm doing with my beard. I'm loving it. And... My significant other is loving it, so that's even better news. And everything's great. And I'll keep making more videos as I get to them. Until then, everybody, beard on. Grow your beard, grow it long. Never cut your beard because of Babylon. Where the people want you to cut and trim your beard. So you foot into the society that's weird. Never watch them and don't try to fit them because you know that this system is doing well. Grow your beard.